guys, welcome back to my channel. To oh my god, no! <laughs> I didn't even look. Okay, so today I'm doing the story time of when I got surgery on my boot. I was 16 years old and I had surgery. Now I bet you're wondering, is that even legal? Yes, yes it is. It is very legal. In fact, my boob surgery was actually medical. It wasn't cosmetic. So the difference between medical and cosmetic is when something is for cosmetic is for the appearance because you know you want bigger boobs or you're trying to look cute but this was medical because when um i think when i was 15 i found a lump in my right breast so you know that led to me having a surgery let me i'm just gonna walk you through the whole process because it was kind of scary a bit tiny bit traumatic but you know i'm here to tell the tale so I didn't know that you're supposed to like regularly check your breasts for lumps and stuff so I remember one day I was in my room with my sisters and they were like you know they were explaining to me how to check for a lump so you get like your two hands and you have to like feel around the breast right so I do my left one nothing's there then I do my right one and I'm feeling like a lump and I'm like maybe that's just like my boob I was like I didn't really know what it was I was like I can feel something I was like let me go let me go to my mum now i'd had this issue before when i was like i'm gonna say like 11 12 um i was reading this jacqueline wilson book called lola rose and the mum in that had breast cancer so when i was growing my boobs i thought i had breast cancer and i was really scared and i was like trying to squish the lump out i wasn't the brightest child I'm just gonna put that out there i was trying to squish the lump out so i thought oh maybe it's just one of those but you know i already already have boobs so i'm like oh mum, i'm like can you feel that so she touched my boobs she's like yeah we can feel it so i book a um appointment to go to like my local gp to like kind of see what's going on so this is like a weird thing like i've i've only been to the hospital like when i was born um i've never like broken a bone or like had anything wrong with me so i'm like i'm i'm a bit scared so we go to the gp you know we come in and she's like so what's going on i'm like um i found like a lump in my right breast and i'm just like she's like do you mind if i examine it i'm like yeah and she's like can you take off your top i'm like i'm like yeah my mom's in the room because obviously i was a minor at that point and bear in mind <laughs> Uh, this bit made me die she was like sorry i'm just gonna warm my hands up she's like oh, they're warming up her hands yeah to touch my bare breast she's like yeah mm -hmm. i can feel it just right there yeah and i'm thinking like where do i look do, do i look at her while she's basically just searching my boob or like do i look at my mom it was just so awkward so um, what they did was they were like we're going to refer you to the hospital so we can do i think it was like called a biopsy but they took like to like I guess analyze what the lump was they were like you know there's no need to worry these are really common it will either just go away or you know stay there and i was like oh. it's like okay okay so you know at this point i think i was having like mild chest pains like really mild chest pains it wasn't anything like ow but me i milked it i milked it so much like i'd be like miss i can't do pe I'd be like, I cannot, and you know, obviously because it's my, it's my chest, you can't determine the amount of pain I'm feeling, so, um, towards the end of year 11, I, I threw my pee kit away, I threw them pee shoes away because I said I'm never doing that sh again, ever, period, because I had my excuse and no one could like determine the amount of pain or when I would be better, so there was that as well so we went to the hospital they did like a biopsy so they put like a needle and they pulled like a piece of the lump out and they also did an ultrasound to like take pictures of it and they said because of the size it was like i guess it was probably like that big they were like you have the option to have it surgically removed oh my god i just remembered something so during this time i i'd had my nipples pierced maybe for like a year 
and at the hospital obviously because they're having to do the ultrasound of my boob and my mum's in the room because I'm a minor and my nipple piercing is just that she just kind of she just <laughs> kind of peeks around the curtain she's like what's that and I was like <laughs> Busted and then I remember she turned to the nurse. She was like do nipple piercings affect the breast in any way? I'm thinking no stop trying to make me get rid of it like it's here. It's been here Anyways, that's aside from the point but over this time like It just oh, I trying to kill me. I Just it was something I couldn't I couldn't really talk about you know um, in depth and really Talk about like how I felt towards the situation I didn't talk about how I was scared or feeling anxious you know to have a surgery I just kind of like I made a lot of jokes surrounding it you know I'd go to school I'd be like guys who wants to fill my lump but really I'm thinking F there is a lump in my chest you know I'd be like guys you want to feel it you know just kind of covering it all with jokes when really it was something quite serious and quite scary because all of this is happening during GCSE times mind you I wasn't really um I didn't care about GCSEs, I, I gave zero f**ks, I could not find one f to give about that whole thing, not any at all. Yeah, um, the hospital that I was at, it was so fancy, it had like a fountain, you know, so as the day of my surgery was approaching, coming up, they told me that I'd have a female doctor to do the surgery, you know, they explained it all, I had to sign some documents. Um, to say that I understood that afterwards, you know, I could have a reduction in breast size, there could be swelling, I could need the, to get the stitches redone, so just making sure that I understood the whole procedure. And you know, them double checking that I actually wanted to go through with it, and I was a bit like, ah. Mum was like, do it, and I was like, okay. I was like, you're right. So I remember I get there on the day, right, and the female doctor I was supposed to have, they were like, she's, she's not doing your surgery. They were like, we can reorganize this for another day or you can have a male doctor and I'm a bit like I'm a bit suspicious of hospitals I find them kind of scary so I was like uh, I was like okay so I remember the male doctor came in he marked up the area with a pen you know more awkwardness of just people just touching my bare breasts it's just like drawing saying here 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 um and I went under general anesthetic and I remember them saying they were like you know um what's it called you can be awake for this if you want and i was like i was like please i said i would rather see what you're doing but then i don't know they just gave me the general anesthetic so you know when you have the thing you're breathing the air in so i'm breathing it in i'm thinking F but it wasn't like for a bit of time it wasn't working so i'm really doing like some some deep breaths because i'm thinking maybe the use of like balloons has made me a bit immune to this so i'm like i'm like it. just close your eyes i don't know and then i remember i just woke up and i was in like some room and i turned to on the nurse in the room and i said i was like my mom said she was gonna buy me kfc i was like if i don't see kfc when i go up to that room i was like i'm going crazy and then we all just started laughing like it was a really just it was really chill the main thing for me was you know aside from the kfc was before i went into the surgery i had to take out all my piercings so i had to take out this one my nipple piercing my belly piercing like all the ones in my mouth in my ear like everything had to come out and i was like because i didn't know how i was gonna get half of these back in but aside from that like i had like the stitches done sewn up on the right boob and it was just it just looked really crusty for a bit like i'm not one i don't like the look of scabs and stuff and it was on my own body so you know i was <sighs> it was horrid and the thing is as well like stuff used to get caught on it and when i went to school at the time i didn't wear bras and my my shirts were basically see-through so you just kind of see like little blood patches around where the nipple was as i just wandered around the hallways you know just ow my boo I mean, even though I will say, literally like the day after my surgery, I did actually go to a concert. But that is a whole, that's a whole different story time. Because the, the tickets were bought before and nothing, like I really f with that artist, so nothing was gonna stop me from getting to that concert. But anyways, 
yeah after all of that i feel like there was a slight um knock to my confidence because i well obviously i didn't do pee after that but you know i used to be the one everyone look at me you know look at my boobs i was really happy with my body but i feel like after i'd come out of that surgery it was kind of like my confidence did deflate about my body quite a bit so i think over time i just kind of built that back up and now i'm at like a, a steady pace so i'm like yeah i'm cute but like after that it was like one boob was just like really painful and it was just droopy and sad and i was sad and yeah but i think overall i think this situation really built my confidence up and it was something I had to experience. And now that I've experienced it, I'm able to discuss it with other people who are worried about themselves or if they found a lump or, or such in their boob and give them reassurance that, you know, they're okay, you'll be fine, you know. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my story. Like, comment and subscribe. And eventually I'll come back with part two to tell you about the concert that I went to the day after my surgery. Thank you for watching.